Memory. Hmm? There you go. Memory. Oh, memory. What do you mean, memory? What are you talking about? Remember me? Remember you? Do you remember me? What? I, I, yeah, I remember. Do you? What? Are you sure? <laughs> ah. What's my name? Dory. Oh, is it? Dorky Dory. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> We're going to be talking about Finding Nemo. Yeah, one of our favorite movies, Watch with the Kids. Or one of them specifically likes it. <laughs> Hey, good to have you back with us. Thanks. We're, uh, you know, one of the things we wanted to add to this season is talking about some of the movies that we watch with the grandkids and yeah. some of them that I think, you know, that were definitely ones that are great mm -hmm. that you could uh, watch and enjoy yeah. and and then kind of look into some of the lessons. The lessons that it teaches you. Yeah. And yeah, now you find us, of course, at OK Movie Stream. Dot com. Yay. That's our new like Netflix where you're going to find the movies we make. Yep. Uh, other podcasts. All family friendly. All family friendly. Yeah. Uh, other podcasts and mm -hmm. uh, from health and wellness to ours and yeah. others to come and uh, independent productions of other folks throughout the region, which yeah. would be Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Missouri, right. Arkansas. And I'm sure we'll add more from support local artists. And, and look, when you look on them, look for some of the little interesting tidbits because we tie, uh, like for example, one of the classic movies on there is Road to Bali oh, with Bob I Hope. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. You've never seen it? I love that movie. No, <laughs> it's the Bob Hope Road to movies from, uh, and uh, it's it's got Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. Wow. Oh. Wow. And I didn't realize this till we looked into the research of it, but Bob Hope would come to Tulsa to play in oh, yeah, a the, charity the, golf yeah, tournament yeah. regularly, with, you know, for Roy Clark, who lived here. Wow, yeah, I forgot about him. And uh, in the Tulsa area, and so they would come in and play for the charity. So he was frequent. He performed at, uh, I think, like at OSU's graduation ceremony. Really? And, uh, wow. And did some you know things at uh, the University of Tulsa. Wow. And so there were a lot of really interesting. And another one was a TV classic that you'll find on OK Movie Stream is uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. Now, I know what that is. <laughs> it's one of my <laughs> all-time favorite TV shows. And in it, now, yeah. I didn't realize this until... I watched the very first episode, but when Jed strikes oil, yeah, the Tulsa Oil Company, yeah, buys his oil. Well, Tulsa was an oil mecca. Yeah, yeah. makes him a millionaire. Yeah, if you've never gone on the uh, Tulsa tour, you should try that. Oh yeah, because uh, it'll take you through the the down in the oh underneath the city. Yeah, because yeah. they used to have a lot of uh, some of the rich people. And would travel in buildings. between the buildings that right. way instead of going on the street. Because a fear of back in the forties, mm. fifties was the kidnappings yeah. and things Which like that. Happen. So mm. they were they were fearful of that, so they built these underground tunnels, tunnels. Mm -hmm. throughout. But as we said, one of the things we wanted to talk about are movies mm -hmm. that you can watch with the green kiddos. And one of them is Nemo. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Our granddaughter <laughs> she was scared of this at first, but began mm -hmm. to love this little Nemo. This I got when I was um, actually working for Radio Disney and Disney. And so it was uh, one of our favorite movies, always yeah. been. And one of the things that uh, Disney and Pixar have always been great at was not only making the movies so that kids would love it, but parents and grandparents could watch it and get right. different enjoyment from it than mm -hmm. the grandkids do. And one of those things that is enjoyable are the lessons that can be learned from watching That's it. That's true. What type of lessons can you learn from Finding <laughs> Nemo? <laughs> well, you know, the first thing that I think I recognize that I don't know if it was uh, an Easter egg or whatever, but Finding Nemo to me kind of starts almost like Bambi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. You know, yeah. where Bambi, his mother gets shot and, and then he's all alone. All alone. And in Finding Nemo, Nemo's mom gets attacked mm -hmm. by that whatever kind of whatever thing sharky creature that was thing. And, uh, 
And it not only takes her, but takes all of his hundred siblings. siblings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so all, all is left is his dad mm-hmm. and him. Yeah. And what's his dad's name? What is his dad's name? Mm-hmm. Why are you questioning me? <laughs> if you already know it, just let him know. His dad's name was Marlon. That's right. Oh, my goodness. There's a lesson on memory. <laughs> And uh, so Marlon, because mm-hmm. of what happened, you know, and, and that's another kind of a thing that we uh, sometimes go through, that if we have a loss in our family, mm-hmm. we're hypersensitive to that situation. Yeah, right. That affects, and, and your hyper awareness can translate to your children and can affect their lives, which right. isn't healthy. Because not only was, uh, you know, Nemo born as an only child. He had a disability. Yeah. What was his disability? He had a special fin. He did have a special fin. <laughs> and uh, and so that brought an added concern to Marlon mm-hmm. because he was afraid of, you know, one, his kid being made fun of. Yeah. And, uh, and then... Uh, Were you ever made fun of? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, I think uh, one of the things that I had, like a... Like a little, like, I don't know, it's just like I was hypersensitive of, I don't know that it ever got noticed or talked about, Mm -hmm. but when I was born, I guess my head was so huge, as it still is, that the doctors had to use forceps to pull me out, Mm -hmm. and it killed follicles in my hair, and I have this little bald spot. Bald spot, yeah. That's my special fin. Yep, it is your special fin. Yeah. <laughs> but I was always it's concerned. Your superpower too. <laughs> and it was a little easier then because you know everybody wore longer hair. Yeah. It's easier to cover up, you yeah. know. But I'd always have to tell whoever was cutting my hair, doing my hair. Uh, oh, I got you... this little spot. Oh. You know, just try to keep it covered. And so you feel like you have to explain it to them, but mm-hmm. not to everybody. Yeah. And then. No. Uh, you know, later I just said that's where I had the lobotomy or whatever. <laughs> and uh, nice. but it, <laughs> Not that we're making fun of mental health. <laughs> no, but, you know, it was that... Uh, but I was always concerned. I was always worried that people wouldn't be interested, you know, wouldn't get a date or somebody wouldn't be interested mm. in me because I had this Frankenstein-y it thing going on. And, uh, you, and uh, you know, it was constantly... Adjusting you, your hair. Yeah, you know, and, and I, I had, my hair was, one of my best friends would always try to mess it up because all I had to do was this and it would pop back because I had the center part and the oh. long and, and it just frustrated him so much that my hair would never mess up. But uh, <laughs> Did you use hairspray? Uh, I think a little, but mm. not like thick, like oh. where it was, you know. Oh. But it, crack. <laughs> no, and uh, you know, because I just was always, you know, doing this yeah. when I was younger to make sure that that was covered up. And uh, but I don't remember anyone ever. The only the time that I remember people making fun of me was as I got older because I was one of those kids that grew fast mm-hmm. and I was as tall as everybody till like eighth or ninth grade, and then they started shooting up and I stayed. You know, mm-hmm. they thought I was going to be tall. And then, uh, then I had bad acne, so I got called pizza face a lot, you know. And People are mean. So, yeah, you know, and so it was, uh, so I could relate with what Nemo never felt or had a concern with anybody no, making fun of No, the only him. one that ever was concerned about it was Dad, and that, that Dad was the one that pointed it out. And in a social setting in school, like in a group, Dad was the one that pointed it out, and the kids didn't even notice. Yeah. So, and, uh, until Dad said that. And I think that sometimes that that happens to parents. You know, they want to point it out first. So I have been guilty. I've done that before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know, that I know that when we first met, because Deanne's youngest is on the spectrum, that uh, I noticed how all of you, her dad siblings your parents Mm -hmm. treated her babied her babied her especially Mm -hmm. and um you know and consequently she she acted like a baby you know so when i was with radio disney one of the things that we would do at virtually every event was to have an area where the kids could draw kids love to draw you know let's see you draw something here do i have to it's your turn 
I don't, I'm not an artist. I played the piano before. Yeah, because you wouldn't let me. I don't even know how to use this thing. There. there. <laughs> so this is what's great. It has a little pen that comes with it. You can also use your finger to draw and that's circles so much fun. and squares. And let's show your artistry. And then, I hope you can see that. And then uh, magically, when you think, hmm, huh, yeah, like the kids do us, well, I can do better. And they uh, erase uh, yeah. it. You uh -huh. push the button, the whole thing's erased. They can start all over again. And uh, let's, so let's see your best stuff. And I, it's just a lot of fun. I don't it have shows best up stuff. in a lot of different colors. And this is the Kakodi 12 inch LCD writing tablet oh what a beautiful star Thank you. is that Thank what that you. is and uh and you can <laughs> reset and you know you don't have to buy tons of paper or throw away paper or deal with paper this is a lot of fun it for of fun. the kiddos and you can do all kinds Here's of fun the things true artist right here we don't have time to show all this but anyway we'll uh keep on keeping on and keep on drawing that was one of my not so good ones but <laughs> Anyway, check out and look for the Kakodi 12 inch LCD writing. It's so much Our fun. Our grandkids absolutely, absolutely love, love it. This. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, bigger ears. <laughs> Rude. And, and then as she grew, she wanted more. And she, it took, it took uh, her breaking out of her shell. Mm -hmm. And being introduced to other people that mm -hmm. maybe not necessarily uh, that she could mentor that weren't didn't have any disabilities, that she started to, you know, speak more in public and mm -hmm. do other things. And yeah. I think like like Nemo hungered for that, you know, because I, we don't know mm -hmm. completely, but it seems like. Marlon never let him out of his sight and no, never let him out of the uh, what is that thing called? The. The, uh, <laughs> wherever they were, the I forget. The, it says uh, it several an times. An enemy, an enemy, an enemy, an enemy, an enemy, yeah, an enemy, <laughs> an enemy. And, yeah. I, I think that's it. It's close anyway. <laughs> and he really wanted to get to know other kids, and he yeah. wanted other kids to uh, treat him like one of the, you know, like when the teacher comes in. That, that's one of the things that I love too about the Pixar movies is. Just their use of color. I was just about to say, it's one of the most colorful, beautiful movies. So many, so many textures, and it's just beautifully made. I remember the first time I saw it, it was just beautiful. Yeah, and it makes... You never see anything like it. It I makes mean. you start to talk about, uh, with your grandchild or child, um, you know, the different, the different kind of animals mm -hmm. and fish that were in that movie mm -hmm. the clown fish you know obviously kids are going to love that yeah. aspect maybe oh, yeah. they don't like clowns but they like the, the aspect fish, of a, yeah. a funny and funny anything fish. with a k sounding word is funnier than mm -hmm. any other word and mm -hmm. so uh you know that 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 beautiful stingray that comes through that's the teacher i know and and he has all those students that are from different different types of fish which mm -hmm. represent different racial profiles different backgrounds and uh so it's you know it's really important i think to help your child recognize that that maybe yeah. you're not like pointing out different races but you could say that oh look you know there's different fish well, just I mean, like there's different people in that in that scene not nothing is brought up it's so nemo is the the fin is pointed out to the to the other fish, and then all the other student fishes fishes fish, they fish all eye. start talking about their different, like one has an allergy, <laughs> one has um, uh, I can't remember what else it was, but um, they all started talking about their different disabilities, I guess per se that you, you, you I guess you could say, so it kind of made it to where it was. You know, not as a big deal that, that Nemo had a, a short fin because all these other kids were like, I've got this or I've got that or whatever. So it made it more accepted and normal and it normalized it and made Nemo feel more comfortable. So. Yeah, except for there was, uh, you know, and I think that's kind of what adults are guilty of, you know, as soon as Marlon 
comes up and says, oh, you're a clownfish. Say something funny. Say something funny. You know, it's like they identify, you know, like. That's profiling. Yeah, it, it is. You know, <laughs> it it's is. like in a racial like, oh, you're situation. A well, you got to be funny. Right. Right. Exactly. Obviously, yeah. you got to be. No, I'm not. I'm paranoid. I'm just and, normal. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so it was, uh, it, you know, there's a lot of that throughout the movie mm-hmm. that where you don't judge a book by its cover kind of scenarios. Right. And, right. and as you move through the movie, they, they talk about some of those, you know, and then uh, obviously one of the first things that you you see after he finds out that they're going to the uh, drop off mm-hmm. and uh and we're we're going to tell you the whole movie cuz we everyone's about we're figuring you scene. saw it yeah. you know mm-hmm. yeah. and we're just sharing our experience we're not therapists or counselors or psychiatrists no. but we're sharing what we found uh, other people talking about that say are the lessons from it and yeah. they're good lessons to kind of pass on to your child or grandchild right and um you know, and one of them is like when listening to your parents, mm-hmm. because how many times do kids go do something that you tell them not to? You know, like we have these stairs that go down into the backyard and and some mm-hmm. of the steps aren't necessarily even. So we tell the grandkids, slow down. Uh-huh. And that doesn't yeah, always doesn't happen. Always and happen, one of yeah. them tumbles yep. and and uh, Trips, falls, whatever. Yep. Yeah. And so that's, you know, we, you've. A million times that's happened with you different kids, them all you different want situations. To. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and so when uh, his dad says, "Nemo, you know, don't, don't touch the," you love saying the words. But. Right? <laughs> don't touch the butt. <laughs> and the other fish, don't touch the butt. Yeah, I'm gonna touch the butt. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna touch the butt. I'm gonna touch the butt. <laughs> and you know, and he does, mm-hmm. and then he what gets happens? into a situation that mm-hmm. he can't escape from. Right. It's caught up in a net. And it becomes a, a, a panic situation. Mm-hmm. And, and although that diver, you don't know this as that fish, mm-hmm. his intents weren't necessarily, you know, uh, dark, dark and try to harm him or anything. Right. But uh, it was a situation where he gets taken from his family mm-hmm. and from his friends mm-hmm. and, uh, and goes off into a place that's unfamiliar and scary and scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that, that, that in itself is another lesson. Yeah. In, in it being, being taken away has all these, these things that are, that just, you don't, these unknowns Mm -hmm. that can be, uh, scary and, and, and it's why it's really important important to, no matter what you're yep. doing to really think out, mm-hmm. you know, whether it's you're going off to college across the country or right. you're taking a job that's in another country mm-hmm. or it, that you have to be prepared for what might be yeah. in front of you. And exactly. So uh, Nemo's off yeah. and then Marlon decides to go and go find and him no him. matter what. Another situation mm-hmm. where he yeah. should have, you know, I don't know who... A clownfish talks to the. I don't know if there's, <laughs> if there's a police fish or a, <laughs> an FBI. <laughs> yeah, or you know, or they have, uh, you know, they have missing f- people photos on clams or whatever. But uh, <laughs> yeah, can you clown or uh, milk cartons doing on top of a clam? <laughs> but then he takes off trying to find him, yeah. and he runs into somebody that. Uh, Probably you would think at first sight, you know, he believes her because yes. she says, I saw that I saw boat. that fish. I saw them. I saw them. Yeah, yeah. I saw the boat. And then they start talking and he's like, I, you don't know what you're talking about. Right. And yeah. that's, that's kind of one of those, you know, where even somebody that has the best intentions mm-hmm. may not be offering the best advice. Right. Exactly. And, uh, you have to be aware of that mm-hmm. and not just jump into it right. because, you can end up lost or further away from your solution. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And uh, even as an adult, mistakes can be made. As, yeah. Just because you're an adult doesn't mean you stop making mistakes. We all make mistakes. And Dory did 
stumble into things that end up helping, helping. them. Helping, yeah, exactly. You yeah. Know? and Found some a... of them that became even scarier. Mm-hmm. The sharks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that leads to something else too, because the fish or the sharks are trying to not eat fish. Right. So they have a uh, they have problems. They have a support group. Yeah. They, <laughs> <laughs> they have. They have situations where they're, um, what are they, they, they have addictions. Yes, yeah. Eating fish. I don't know necessarily that a shark eating shark fish eating is fish addiction, addiction. But I mean, what uh, else are you going to eat in the ocean? <laughs> You're a shark. Right. Algae. But, <laughs> yeah, so I guess, uh, but the way they, they, they presented it was, you know, kind of special because yeah. it, it lent you to, you know, there are people that, have had issues of one thing or another, whether it's addiction, mm -hmm. and they want to be better. Yeah. They want to grow, grow, and, and mm -hmm. to have a norm, a, what would be considered a normal life. That's normal, though. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, several of our kids are into fast cars. Driving in a fast car. In cars that look good. <laughs> Please, don't, we're not going to catch you off from singing. But anyway. Ah! We, because of that, we like to have things that in, include the cars. Yes. One of our granddaughters, her daddy has this little, I forget what it's called. Uh, it's, a, it's a Fiat. Fiat. It's a small one, but it has this thing, thing that makes it raise. And, and it makes this. <laughs> and she makes that noise whenever we ask her what. Daddy, make it go. <laughs> what's your fast? But, it, but she makes it, calls it something else. Anyway, so we got this little device when she was, uh, they little. were all little. Yeah, they're all and little. And they absolutely love it because yeah, they, they get to pump up the balloon <gasps> and then they go on your mark get <laughs> set go Woo! Woo! it launches it. off and it's another thing that they spend all kinds of time playing yes, it and in following it and making mm -hmm. us chase it around oh, yeah, but sure. it's absolutely a whole lot of fun for them the kitty -o, o balloon, balloon launcher, launcher toy, toy. How do you judge that? How do you work yeah. with that? How do you, in your own life, work with those things? And I know this sounds all deep, you know, that you probably don't want to tell your two-year-old grandchild, but right. but they're going to watch this show 352 50. times. <laughs> so as, as those characters in the show become more and more familiar... And as they grow, you can introduce them to some of these yeah, concepts. Absolutely. And, uh, and some you stay away from. Some you can introduce to, like different, like disabilities and people with differences. Yeah. That are different than you. And you and touch it, on yeah. it. You don't necessarily you don't have, have to, to go deep. Go into a deep, but you know, maybe you have one on one hundred and eighty second time. You take one topic. <laughs> You know, there 193, you take another kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, take it slow. You know, take it slow. You know and uh, maybe you say, you know, like your uncle so-and-so that has this problem yeah. with eating fish. You know, <laughs> maybe uh, maybe he's not that bad, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and and you, as you grow in life, you get introduced to all types of people. Mm -hmm. Whereas as they go, Dory, on their exploration, you know. They, they meet all kinds of different people. Yep. Or, you know, Fish, sorry. Well, you know, they go into uh, trying to find the um, the goggles because yeah. it had the and name they it, they, and address yeah, on it. It has the address, yeah. And they have to go into a dark place, which they probably shouldn't something have gone. Something new and something unfamiliar. So, yeah. They shouldn't have gone because they ran into... Uh, go in the dark fish. Yeah, that uh, scary <laughs> kind of mobstery <laughs> kind of fish that there was really no... Uh, and, you know, it's kind of like, it reminds me of a time when even my children, when they were in their 20s, this is a college situation, mm. I had said to them, you know, okay, probably if you're out late, don't stop places where someone can approach you. Yeah, don't stop at a gas station. Yeah, just. And, you know, if you need gas, get it early. You know, yeah, exactly. you're going to know There's you're going to need gas, stuff, you know. Yeah. So uh, avoid being in danger. Yeah. One of one of our middle son, he uh, instead wanted to get to his girlfriend's house, so he didn't take the time to get gas first. He mm -hmm. wanted to get as much time with her as possible, mm -hmm. and in doing so, he got gas after midnight mm -hmm. and was robbed at knife point for what he had a couple hundred dollars on him because mm -hmm. he was visiting and yeah. grandpa had given him a gift of some money and I had given him some money and, and he got robbed. Yeah. And that was a situation where, you know, had he might have listened to his parent, 
and uh, not say I told you so. Not but... put himself in uh, harm's way. Yeah, it would have been avoided. Right, and and that's you know although it was a situation for Dorian Marlin that they had to get those. The address and then get the goggles. Yeah. You know, but but there are ways they could have avoided yeah. the sharks and the this because they had the goggles. Right. You know, they just needed to try to avoid Stay the things. path. Yes. And that led to when uh, they were told, which but at this time he he didn't trust uh, Dory's judgment. Right. Exactly. And, That's right. Yeah. In mm -hmm. listening to the 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 uh, the uh, uh, turtles. Was it That's the right. turtles? No, yeah. Well, they they got to the turtles. They rode the whatever that little wave thing they rode, and then they got off. They got, they exited it, and then um, they got into an argument. And he was scared, and she was like, "No, it's this way. It's this way." And then there was a whale coming, and or the, uh, they didn't know what it was. And she, whoa, whoa, yeah, so she thought she could talk whale, and it turns out I guess she could talk whale. So. Yeah. She they they got swallowed up and she was like hey, it's gonna be okay we're gonna be fine it's all gonna be good and Marlon's panicking and freaking out and he's like we're gonna die we're gonna die and he's beating up the whale trying to get out and stuff like that and then what happens is uh oh they hadn't got to the turtles yet when the whale because was it the whale or it was a whale it was the turtles then the whale told them to no it was I think there were some other fi oh it was those. Fish that were trying to cheer her oh, up. Oh, the school fit the fish. This the school. Like yeah, they were like making the pictures and right. stuff like that. Yeah, and, and making they were fun of Marlon. Marlon and, to calm and, down yeah, and and, uh, and they told them to go through. Oh, that's right. The sting. The uh, jellyfish. Yeah, and they to go through yeah. the through what looked like you know this long the valley valley mm -hmm. yeah, and not go over. Over. And Marlon through. decided to go over because mm -hmm. he didn't listen to. Uh, to to those other fish because mm -hmm. they were making fun of him. Right. You know, which is like, okay, someone's making fun of you, but that doesn't mean you tune them out completely. Right. Giving you advice. And, and, mm -hmm. they, and they gave the advice to Dory, mm -hmm. and she said, well, some, she couldn't quite remember it. Right, that's true. And uh, and then when they get up there, they run into the jellyfish situation. You know, And they turn it into a... a Marlon does freak out initially, and but then freak then re realizes that if you just jump on top of them, that they could possibly get out of the jellyfish without injury. Well, but more and more jellyfish. More and more jellyfish show up, and then Dory gets gets like stung. tasered because <laughs> she's out, you know. She's out, and, and then he's out, and that's when the they uh, encounter the turtles. The turtles yeah. and. And so, and I think that's another judgment situation, you know, when because the turtles talked more like hipsters, you know. And, yeah, they were like they weren't tur they weren't like they were surfer dudes. They yeah. weren't hipsters. They were surfer dudes surfer from Southern dude, California, yeah. like dude, <laughs> chill, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, uh, and they had a whole different outlook on how yeah. to remedy their situation. Mm -hmm. You know, is to be relaxed, find a. Find the solution, find the solution. And, it's be okay. and then move on. And so that was again a situation of not judging mm. somebody by maybe your first impression because maybe you think a surfer dude isn't like you know intelligent or something, but yet they may have experience yeah. that can help you reach your goals. Yeah. And uh, and in that particular instance, they were trying to get Sydney, mm -hmm. and they had to go through what is that? It's like a. It's some I don't. It's like a. Um, it's like a war. It's like yeah. water that that just. It's uh, you got to travel through to get past. I don't know. I can't <laughs> remember. remember what it's called. But should have looked it up. But it's something to learn. You know. Yeah, absolutely. I guess we haven't seen it enough times. We haven't seen enough time to remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> got to watch it another hundred times. <laughs> so. It, nah, I'm not <laughs> so you know, and in this whole time. Uh. Nemo is in a tank mm -hmm. with other fish. It's almost like being in a, you know, like, a, I don't know, a bad schoolyard or playground or <laughs> something. Because all of them at first to him appear to be, uh, you know, mean or have some Scary. kind of issue or mm -hmm. another. And, and so, um, but as he gets to know them. He realizes that they're trying to help him. They all have They're the same. They all have the same concern. They want out they of want the out. fish tank. Yeah. They want back in How their environment. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
and uh, they do all kinds of things Different from things to get out. And and and, and at first they try to trick him. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is what is his name? The the one is it Scar or Scab? Or? I think it's Scar because he does have a scar. He's an angelfish. Gil. Oh, Gil. Yeah, I think so. Just don't. And uh, is he too has. Kind of, he has the scar, and then he has a special fin. Yeah, he does. Because it's kind of torn up. But uh, you know that that at first he tries to trick Nemo, mm-hmm. Nemo into helping him escape and mm-hmm. them all escape, right? By getting him to go up into the, the filter, filter thing, thing. and yeah. so uh, get a rock up in there, yeah. and they you know, and make him feel like he's a he belongs mm-hmm. by making him a part of their. Oompa, 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 oompa. <laughs> Their special group club. of yeah <laughs> club, and uh, later some endearment happens and they become yeah, close to him. They 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 try they try that the to get out the the, the filter and then Nemo almost dies or and then they get then it scares Gil and Gil realizes that we need to stop. Which is one of my out. favorite scenes when he. He gets into uh, they they take him out and put him in the bag. They're getting ready to give him to the mm-hmm. to the niece, you know. But yeah. the the dentist is doing some work on her, and then Gil jumps. He, you know, he uh, sacrifices himself, himself yeah. for the betterment of Nemo and trying to get out. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, he flaps, and they're flapping, and they end up in the niece, and the, and she's screaming, and everybody in the waiting room thinks it's because what's going on with the dentist because the drill is, like, mm-hmm. loose and flying around. And uh, that that's just, to me, my, my dentist actually has that tank with yeah. all of the, the different fish from fish Nemo, from Nemo mm-hmm. in it. And, uh, and I always just laugh. I always laugh every time <laughs> that scene comes up because it's, pretty it's funny just, scene. it kind of plays off of what... Uh, you know, people feel about their dentists and going to oh, the yeah, dentist for sure. and their fears. Of, Absolutely. <laughs> so I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the end, you know, we see after all they've been through, uh, Marlon ends up hurting Dory's feelings yeah. and tells him he doesn't want to so her leaves. help anymore. She gets her feelings hurt and she leaves and wanders off and goes back tries to go back home and while she's there trying to find her way back home she runs into what Nemo oh yeah yeah she runs into Nemo she runs into Nemo because um she and then she she can't remember she he, Nemo's talking to her and and she can't remember why she's going home or what what happened and then she realizes uh, he's talking about his dad and then she goes your dad. I know your dad. I know your dad. Your dad. We'll find your dad. And then they go off together and try to find him. And they run into all those fish with the net. And then Nemo gets caught in the net. And Marlon shows up. And they try to get him out of the net. And they're like, so that's another thing. Teamwork. Yeah. So there's all those fish in the net. And they're trying to tell them, hey, this is what you need to do. Everybody needs to go down. Go down. So they get all, they get them all go down. And it works. The teamwork works. Yeah, and I mean, you know, you look at, uh, with every really great movie, there's mm-hmm. a lot of conflict and resolution, and we see throughout that from, you know, what happened to his mom, mm-hmm. to him going for the boat and getting captured, the mm-hmm. the excursion to try to find him, the shark, the yeah. lighty fish, the, yeah. uh, you know, uh, the sting, I mean, the uh, jellyfish, and mm-hmm. all of these things that compile to build to the solution Mm -hmm. but in every one of those moments there was teamwork yeah whether it was dory and and uh yeah yeah. marlin and 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 so it's 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 all about you know i think there's so many opportunities within the movie to talk about how working together Mm -hmm. can be important and then learning from each other on some movies over you can do it. Like mm-hmm. maybe I know one of our granddaughters. She loves it when she helps to make pizzas, mm-hmm. and or or any other kind of thing. We try to include her in that process, mm-hmm. you know, so that she f- is part of the team. Yeah, and we're a team, and we're working on things. And I think from that, you know, you can take away from the movie about being 
aware of anyone with special needs mm -hmm. and don't anyone that's different than you yeah don't mm -hmm. count them out because they they offer they have lots everyone to offer everyone has something to offer no matter the difference that you have you just have to figure out what that is you know mm -hmm. when you think about uh, a football team when the team that goes to the super bowl doesn't comp isn't comprised of the absolute best players in the league mm -hmm. it's comprised of maybe four four or five of the best players or yeah. arguably the top players in the league right. but it's the combination of everybody's skill sets that makes a team mm -hmm. and that team working together week after week is what gives them the structure to win and what gives them an ability to become mm -hmm. a champion yeah and uh you know and even in a regular day situation we can all be champions when we work together yeah to fulfill the end solution Absolutely. to the day and we can walk away from the day knowing that we gave it our best Yes, absolutely. Give it your best, whether it be... And we did it together. Yeah. And uh, we can now celebrate and enjoy it. Absolutely. That's great. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Whatever, no matter what kind of team you're a part of, work team, you work together and you make it successful. You make it work. So we hope you take some time. Watch, you know, Finding Nemo with your kids, grandkids. And, yeah. And uh, tell us what you think of it. And... Uh, how other things maybe we left out, we could share it another time. But yeah, we plan sure. on kind of finding other movies like this. And, oh, yeah, this was uh, fun. Some of the ones that are from, you know, our earlier days, mm -hmm. like uh, um, the Spielberg movie. E.T. E.T., yeah, yeah. That's probably going to be one of our next that's ones. A good one. So we're yeah. excited about that mm -hmm. one. And uh, we're going to have to watch it again, though, because yeah, the grandkids one of the haven't ones watched it. I haven't watched that much. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, so make sure that, you know, you uh, keep looking for us, okmoviestream.com. And we're also, uh, you know, you can listen to all the regular podcast for things sure. we've been on for years and years now. And uh, thank you so much for thank you guys. having us be a part, part of, your, of your, day your day in your life. And uh, <laughs> take care. Bye.